Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to explain callbacks in JavaScript. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, callbacks. A callback is a function passed as an argument to another function. In JavaScript, we can pass functions as arguments as if they were values. This allows a function to invoke another function, depending on which function is passed in. So here's an example of why a callback would be useful. Let's say that we have a variable named message. I need to assign this variable a string and then display it to either my console window or my DOM, my website. Let's create two separate functions to take care of that for us, depending on which choice we make. So let's use a function named display console. There will be one parameter that we will name output and we will use console.log our output. Then let's create a separate function to display our output to our DOM. Display DOM. And we'll need this line of code. Document dot get element by ID. Pass in the name of an ID. Let's say my h1 dot inner HTML equals output. Then we just need to create this tag. So head to your HTML file. This will be an h1 header tag with an ID of my h1. And then close it. Okay, so let's create another function to set our message. Function set message we'll have one parameter of text, message equals text, and then return our message. So we have a couple options here if we need to set our message and then display it to either my console or my DOM. The first is nested function calls, which aren't ideal, but they technically work. So if I need to set a message, I would call the set message function and then pass in some text, a string. So maybe let's say, hi, mom. Okay, then if I need to display this message, I can invoke one of these functions, display console or display DOM. So maybe display console. So I can pass this in as an argument to display console because this will return a value that we can pass in as an argument. So this technically works, but this isn't ideal because it's not very flexible. So if I need to display this message to my DOM, I would have to go into my code and change this from display console to display DOM. Another option would be to, instead of returning our message, we could invoke one of these functions inside of our set message function. So I could say display console, pass in my message, and then I would just invoke set message to begin this process. So this would work as well. However, we have no way of preventing display console from invoking. So that will occur no matter what at the end of set message. Now the best option would be to use a callback. We will pass in a function name as an argument to another function. So we're going to write something like this. So let's get rid of what we have currently here. And we are going to set message, pass in our message, hi, mom, and then the name of a function that we would like to call as an argument. So let's say I would like to display this message to display console. I will pass in the function name as an argument. Be sure to not add the set of parentheses afterwards because that will invoke the function. So we just need to pass in the function name. Okay, and then with our function of set message, we need to set up a parameter to match this argument. So let's add an additional parameter. We will call this call back. Get rid of return message. And we will call our callback by adding that set of parentheses to invoke this function. So remember with this parameter, it's kind of like we're giving this argument a nickname, which we will name callback. And we're going to invoke it by adding this set of parentheses. But we need to pass in our message because we need some output. Okay, so this should work. Hi, mom. If you instead need to display to your DOM, we just pass this function name in as an argument in place of display console. 
So it's kind of like we're pivoting. So we pass in the function name that we would like to call. So we can switch between display DOM or we can pivot and use the display console function that we declared. So that's a callback. It's a function passed as an argument to another function. And this allows a function to invoke another function. So if you would like a copy of all this code, I will post this to the comment section down below. But yeah, that is a callback in JavaScript.